some anonymous hex community member had donated some hex that was a really small amount at the time of the donation, like three hundred and fifty dollars worth or something. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure now I had seen that text message or the uh, excuse me the tweet saying that Richard didn't give it to us. But so Ben uh, Bitboy Crypto and I, you know, we used to do a podcast called Beards and Bitcoins. Yeah, uh, I, I watched actually like a bunch of it the other night. <laughs> So we actually interviewed Richard Hex uh, over a year ago, or Richard yeah. Hart, excuse me, uh, over a year ago. And it was, I, I'm fairly confident that it was, he donated um, to the show, it was, you know, a, an amount of Hex after we did that interview. And so, you know, that's what I think all of this, uh, you know, the conversation precipitated from was, you know, to get me back on my feet because, you know, I had gotten pretty wiped out. You know, we eventually sold, um, you know what that hex had turned into because i think like you said the donation was like 300 or 350 dollars worth at the time uh and it like it had probably gone up to like seventy five thousand dollars. yeah so yeah that's what i think a lot of the numbers that i've seen are like sixty thousand. and you guys sold it like sometime shortly after big payday right like november yeah, yeah okay so we, yeah so we definitely held on through big payday i think you know like there was like a, a big spike and then a little dip and then so we waited until uh, it became, you know, I, I want to say, because we had it in two chunks. There were, you know, two different groupings that we had, you know, through the, the lockup period. So, you know, we sold like half of it at one point and then like uh, like a, a month or two later, you know, we sold the other half of it just to uh, just to get me back on my feet. Because at that point, you know, I, I, I have been wiped out, like I said. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I think that nobody can really agree, like, can really disagree that, like, that's great, you know? Like, so in some ways, like, Hex kind of helped you, oh, right? Oh, 100%, 100%, you know, and it was it was actually, it was a conversation that Ben and I had, you know, it was just like, ah, uh, you know, like, I don't, we don't really want to do this because, you know, we saw, you know, and, and the conversation with Richard, you know, there's a lot of back and forth between, you know, like, you know, we talked about a second ago, those dummies on the internet that, you know, nothing's ever good enough for them, no matter what you do, they're always going to hate you. So you mm -hmm. just, again, take it with a grain of salt. But, um, you know, we, we didn't really want to sell it. Um, but, you know, I needed I, I needed something. So we had yeah. to go. Like, and so, so I guess a lot of people were probably thinking, like, if that's what you chose to sell, is that what you saw, like, having the lowest potential moving forward? Or is it just, like, you didn't know about that as much? Uh, no, it was just out of necessity. I mean, like, you know, I can see, you know, when you look at, the tokenomics of everything and when you look at the potential of hex like i would have much rather held on to it because i think at this point you know i think it's 3x from where where it was when we sold and you know it was you know i believe in crypto i don't uh i'm not a bitcoin maximalist i believe in all cryptos i think everybody's got their you know i don't know if we need eight thousand cryptos but you know the way that richard put it where it's you know the first uh like blockchain cd you know like mm -hmm. I, you know you know, I, I, I believe in it. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, we had to do it out of necessity. That's all. 